In today's video, leaked shots of new Tesla's secret project and Mercedes-Benz adopts Tesla's NACS connector. Grab some popcorn and let's go. Video of Tesla's secret project is spreading online. It shows neither an electric van, nor a minibus, nor a people mover. And this is not surprising because back in 2016, in Tesla's Master Plan Part 2, CEO Elon Musk shared exciting plans to electrify not only consumer cars, but also two other important segments, heavy-duty trucks and high-passenger density urban transport. The idea was to introduce electric vehicles that could revolutionize trucking and urban transportation, while keeping safety as a top priority and making the experience incredibly enjoyable. So, for the past few years, Tesla has been making what appears to be a van, minibus, or people mover. A few years later, Tesla unveiled the long-awaited Tesla Semi, their super-powered truck, fulfilling one of the promises made in the master plan. After some delays, they successfully launched the Semi into production last year, which was a major milestone. However, there was one vehicle that did not come to life, the Model X-based electric minibus. Although Elon Musk has talked about it in the past, the vehicle unfortunately never became a reality, remaining the only car on Tesla's roadmap that never saw the light of day. Interestingly, it was also discussed that Tesla would create a van-like passenger vehicle specifically for Musk's boring company. The Boring Company is known for its underground transportation system Loop in Las Vegas. They currently use existing Tesla vehicles such as the Model X and Model Y. Nevertheless, the idea of developing a 12-passenger vehicle adapted for the Loop has been a subject of discussion. Last time, the Boring Company posted a photo to give viewers an idea of what the vehicle might look like. Twitter user Jacob Orth also uploaded that video, which seems to show a new Tesla prototype. Well, we don't know if the video is true, but this car has a Tesla steering wheel. Mercedes adopts Tesla's NACS connector. They announced their plans to use Tesla's connector in their electric vehicles. This will start in 2025, and this is a very milestone moment as they will be the first German automaker to do so. But over the past month, there have been a bunch of other automakers who have also joined the Tesla NACS connector party. First it was Ford, then GM, Rivian, and Volvo. It's quite interesting to see all these big companies coming together to adopt adopt this new connector. Even the German automakers, who used to stay away, are now joining the process. Volkswagen has been talking with Tesla about it, but it is Mercedes-Benz who is the first to officially join the lines of NACS. It looks like the future of electric vehicles is really coming, and it's great to see so many companies working together to make it happen. But what happens before 2025? Starting in 2024, Mercedes-Benz drivers will have access to more than 12,000 Tesla superchargers across North America. This is a huge network that will undoubtedly make traveling easier and more enjoyable. However, Mercedes-Benz is taking their charging game to the next level. They plan to expand their Mercedes-Benz charging station network by installing more than 2,500 high-powered chargers across North America. In this way, they want to make a supercharger network for Mercedes drivers. Who knows, maybe they'll even beat Tesla with their charging stations. The first Mercedes-Benz high-power charging stations will open in the last quarter of 2023. So soon, Mercedes drivers and others will be able to test how well the German company has mastered this technology. This is a significant step for Mercedes-Benz, and they even plan to make it easier for their customers. In 2024, they will offer an adapter that will allow their current CCS electric vehicles to charge smoothly on the NACS network. The company is not just relying on existing charging stations. They are building their own network of powerful chargers. By the end of the decade, in cooperation with American partners, they plan to have more than 400 charging stations in North America with both CCS1 and NACS connectors. Yes, it was Tesla that was ahead with its supercharger network of more than 2,000 locations in North America, but every little step counts, especially when it's taken by a company like Mercedes. Let us know in the comments what you think of that Tesla van and the Mercedes-Benz Tesla partnership. Also, check out these videos.